All right, everybody, we're super excited to talk about an app that we've started using recently or super excited about. It's called Shifts. Now, you might think, are we running a restaurant? What's going on here? But actually, it works really well for how we work with tracking our time uh, because a lot of these other time clock software or other applications just tend, tend to be a lot more complicated. There's a lot more steps. We really live and breathe by teams anyway, and it, it kind of you know works in there uh, and makes the process of getting the reports and other things you need a lot easier. So Kaylee's kind of a resident expert. So Kaylee, can you show us uh, what you know? I would love to. Let me share my screen. So one thing that I want to say before we get started is that shifts can be pulled up inside Microsoft Teams from both your desktop and your mobile device, and they look different. So as I'm showing these on both of the devices, just make sure you know that I'm going to say when I'm switching from the desktop view and the mobile device view so that you can see the difference between the two. Gotcha. So first, I'm going to share what it looks like on the desktop. OK, so this is what shifts looks like inside Microsoft Teams. If you don't know how to get here, just know that you go to the app section at the bottom left of your screen and you're going to add this app integration inside of your Teams. Once it is downloaded, you can then see it on your bar and you can click on it and view that app. OK, now keep in mind, it requires you to have appropriate permissions to do that because not just everyone can add an app inside your Teams environment. Correct. So if you're inside an organization that is not using shifts and maybe they do not allow you to download different apps, you might not be allowed to do this. So make sure to check with your admin or person in charge so that you're not messing up stuff <laughs> inside of your organization. <laughs> right. So, OK, so this is the scheduling area of shifts. This is where what what you would do is you would build out your team schedule. None of this is going to be sent to your team as you're building it out. You can just do basically whatever you'd like and then share it with your team later. So for example, let's say I wanted to build out my next week's schedule. Well, we always are working from 8.30 to 5.30, so it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna click on, if you see my name here, I'm gonna click on the date, which is Monday the 5th, right click and click add shift. This is going to add a shift, which I have automatically created 8.30 to 5.30 as our time that we're working. So it automatically populates that into the time. If it's a different time, you can change that right here. So if I wanted to change that from 8.30 to 8 a.m., I could just do that right here. Then what you're going to do is add a break if there's an unpaid break inside there. So let's say that we have an hour break each day. And if you have any notes that you would like to create, you can add them right here. And there's some extra stuff here, but I'm not gonna bore you with all of those things right now. I'm just gonna stick with the basics for you today. So then we're gonna save this. And boom, it is on the schedule. Notice though, there's a few little icons that I wanna point out. One is the coffee mug, so cute. That means that there is an unpaid break in this shift that you should be taking. Second thing is the star. Mm -hmm. The star means that it hasn't been sent out to Kaylee yet, okay? So I've created the shift for her and I've put it for next week, Monday the 5th, but she has not been notified of it yet, okay? So what I like to do is I like to build out the whole week shift and then send it all at one time rather than just sending a day at a time and Kaylee getting pissed about the notifications that she's getting on her phone. So right. just let's, let's just be smart with this, right? A really easy way to do this is if you right click on that shift. So let's say that the shift is the exact same every single time. To some companies, it's not. But to many of us, 8.30 to 5.30 or 8 to 5, regular, you know, just business hour shifts, you can just copy this shift that you already created and then paste it into every single day this week. So great, easy, right? Yeah. And then all you have to do is go up to the top right-hand corner once you're done and click share with team. This is gonna send the shifts now to Kaylee, okay? So when I click that, it's going to give me the option of, okay, 
which week would you like to, or which days would you like to send to her? So right now I'm going to say that I'd like to send all of these days that I just created the fifth through the ninth. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to highlight these like that and see how it says five assigned shifts during this period. If you were assigning multiple people shifts during this period, it might be a hundred, it might be 52, it might be, you know, whatever it is. Right. So then you can choose if you would like to notify your entire team about these shifts, which I would not recommend, or you could do the affected team members only. So that's what I always click because whoever has a shift scheduled during that time, they're getting notified that they have a shift during that time. Makes sense. Then you're going to click share. And it's going to send that notification to Kaylee that she has a shift and she's now able to clock in during those days. Okay. So clock in, what does that mean? This is a really cool feature that is so easy to understand. If you know how to click a button, you can do this. Awesome. So in the top right hand corner, there's an option to clock in. When you click on that option, it will clock you into your shift for the day. It's going to then start this time clock for you, showing how long you've been working for today. So for today, I've already been working for an hour and 35 minutes, right? So it shows that up at the top. Then when I wanna take my break, I'm going to click the down arrow here and click start a break. Then it's going to start the timer for my break. Once I'm done with my break, I click here again and it's going to say end the break. Then you'll end the break and it'll start the clock in again for your shift. Okay. Then once you're done for the day, you'll click the clock out button and you're done. And that's it. It's going to send this basically Excel spreadsheet to your owners of your team. This is super important. The people who have access to that are owners of this Axiom team. So if your employee is under the Axiom team as a member, they're not going to be able to schedule, do any of this stuff. Only owners can do this scheduling, okay? But any user under the Axiom team can clock in and clock out and take breaks if they have a shift scheduled. Okay, like on your phone, because on your phone, it's a little bit more simplistic. You can see your shifts. You can see your team's shifts. You can clock in on the time clock feature, and you can also take breaks and clock out. So you can do everything that you did on your desktop, on your phone. Why is that important? Well, you might be like us on the go sometimes. Right. Right. So we have site trips sometimes that we go to or we're on site somewhere and we don't have our desktop out. So, well, also, cool. if you have shift employees that don't have a desktop, they're coming Great point. in. Right. They don't have a system that they're using and they mm -hmm. want to be able to do it. You can they can install the Teams app on their personal phone if you want to allow them to do that. And then they can shift, you know, they can clock in on their shift and they can clock out using their mobile device and they can receive notifications or messages from the organization as they're trying to communicate with them about stuff. So that way you're not trying to use group texts and and all these other types of things, because we find that Teams is a lot better integration if you have lots of different people from different yeah. products like mobile uh Apple and Android, they don't mm -hmm. necessarily play very well when you're doing group text, but Teams doesn't care. Right. That's a great point. Now, yeah. Kaylee, I do have a question. So let's say you make a mistake when you're clocking and clocking out. How mm -hmm. do you fix that? Great question. So actually, once you clock out of a shift, it's going to send you a breakdown version of that shift. And it's going to say, would you like to edit it or confirm? Here's two things to note. It's not going to send the just that time to your manager. It's going to send actually both. So it's going to show that you edited it and it's going to show what it was before you edited it and after. <laughs> so be very careful. And one, that's awesome for the admins of this, right? Because you can really catch people who might be trying to cheat the system. Two, if you're one of the people trying to cheat the system, please make sure that you <laughs> know that you can't really do that. Right. And they're going to be on your butts about that. So right. something um, with that as well is I'm going to show you what that Excel spreadsheet looks like. So here I have an example timesheet 
notice right here it has the dates okay and then it's got the clock in and clock out times and then it's got the shift start and end times so what does that mean the shift start and end times are what was scheduled but the clock in and clock out times are what was actually done with the clock itself so what the actual person logged during the day so notice that there's three here that are changed right so you've got the um time in bright red that is saying that kaylee changed these times during those dates so at the end the clock out time is different than it was originally when she clocked out mm -hmm. now the way that you can see the original time clock is this tab at the bottom when you click here it's going to show different times right so i accidentally <laughs> forgot until the next morning <laughs> to clock right. out one yep. day yeah that's good and so it says that i worked all throughout the night i'm hey, really impressive that's great. I worked 24 hours. Can you believe it? Straight. That's, I expect nothing less. Yeah. So this is a way that you can tell um, that I changed this and this is what it was before. And then this is what it was after. Okay. Just by switching between these two tabs. And it breaks down even more stuff to the side, which is so cool. I encourage you guys to look more into this because honestly, it's going to change what you want to see and what you don't want to see, depending on your company and how you're going to utilize this shifts app. So I really like this. I have um, liked it for, I've been using it for about a year now. I've been testing it, but we have just started using it as an entire organization. So I'm excited to see how that works. And I'd love to share with you guys in a few months how we're liking it and enjoying it, or maybe not. Maybe there's something that we don't like about it and we'll right. let you know. Well, I think it's just really nice that it's fully integrated into teams. So again, if you want to have that single authority where you go to access your documents, where you go to chat with people, where you right. go to your shift check-ins, those types of things, when you can start driving everything back to teams, you start really increasing efficiency, which is a good thing. Exactly. So there are obviously a few more features and details that we could talk about with shifts, but I'd love to go into those details in a further video once you guys have understood the basics of how it works. So I hope you guys really did understand the basics of shifts today. And if you have any questions about it, make sure to comment down below and I'd love to answer any of those. Also, if you want to talk about a specific feature inside shifts, let us know and we can make a video about that later. But we hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe anytime um, you want to be notified of a new video that we may have coming up. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.